The sole purpose of society is to ensure your survival, to seek happiness. It is only found outside of society, and I'm talking about pure happiness, unending, unceasing happiness is found by going outside of society and going inside of you, the true you, the deep you, the you-ness that is actually everywhere and can be found in what's seen as other, such as other people and nature. Nature is not other than you. Uh, humans in general are not other than you. And that can only be realized by going outside, paradoxically, outside of society. So you become society by going outside of it. The main reason that society won't make you happy is because society is like based on language. So language is inherently dual, which means it's separateness. And of course, we're talking about oneness. So if we're trying to get into oneness, why, why would we want to be stuck in the idea of duality or two-ness? Uh, when you're in nature or when you're silent or still, in a, maybe meditating or doing yoga or listening to a really deep song or hiking in the woods, that is when silence pervades your entire environment, such as moments like now, even though you can maybe hear the alarm, uh, the siren in the background. Uh, it's actually completely filled with silence if you just calm your mind because your mind is filled with the language and the stress that society has told you to believe in. So society has its cultural values. Our American kind of European style society values busyness and talking, talking a lot, uh, interaction um, and kind of professionalism and materialism, and these are actually what I would call stage orange values, and that comes from spiral dynamics, meaning that it's capitalism, modern science, these kind of values. Uh, this is part of the materialism or the materialist paradigm that we are currently living in, in our uh, modern era. And the postmodern era is emerging, and postmodernism, uh, such as uh, feminism, or Gaia theory, or those who have taken a psychedelic, um, those who don't view smoking weed as bad um, inherently. Uh, these are what I would consider postmodernism um, theories. And so postmodernism is going to be more open to silence, stillness, uh, environmentalism, nature, and seeing that actually the stillness in nature is the same stillness that abides in your heart and abides in your consciousness. And actually, it's the same exact consciousness that when you're hiking in nature, that, that inherent quietness, quietude, that quietude or that consciousness is your consciousness. Like, you, you actually don't, it's not your consciousness, it's the consciousness. So it's the consciousness and then everything comes out of it, like nature and society. Both come out of the quiet uh, quietude, the quiet quietude, or the quiet consciousness, uh, the stillness that is the substratum for everything. It's the foundation for everything. Okay, so that's uh, enough for that uh, short video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.